Well, good morning um, to Israel. <laughs> and any, I don't think anyone's on here right now from Israel, but we bless Israel at 6 a.m. Jerusalem time. And um, it's afternoon and evening time everywhere else. And we just welcome you to this Myanmar call um, led by Roz and Pastor Tok, I'm guessing, and David and all rain, you all share, don't you? So we bless you. I just want to say a blessing over you. I thank the Lord for you. We thank the Lord for you. And um, we declare that he is your radiant hope. And as you trust him with all your hearts, his wraparound presence will strengthen you and he will fill you with his uncontained joy. So we, we bless you with the word of the Lord and all his promises that he watches over to fulfill. So bless you, Roz, and you all. Thank you, Alison. Thank you. Welcome. Those that are joining, Shoshana, Frederick and Mona, I, I don't think they need translation. Do they, Alison? Jutta? I know Jutta's English. I don't, I don't think so. Now tell me. <laughs> okay. All right. Welcome. So, Father, we just thank you that we're here again. And we know that your heart is for this nation. We thank you that you've put this nation on our hearts and the people. Father, these precious people who have suffered so long and so much, Lord God. Lord, we're looking to you. We're lifting our eyes to you. We're praising your holy name because we know how much you care for them. We thank you, Lord, for your presence, your glory resting over this nation. And Lord, our hearts are to see your peace rest upon this nation in greater measure, Lord on everyone in this nation, whether they be from the Tatmadaw, the Junta, the um, ethnic armies, the people in the cities, people in the regions, and the people, the displaced people hiding in the jungle, not those over the borders in refugee camps, Father, we just lift them all up to you, Lord God. We thank you, Lord, that your heart is for them, that you are releasing myriads of angels, Lord God, into this nation to bring healing, to bring salvation. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We just quieten our hearts before you, Lord God. And we just speak a blessing over um, all rain as he worships, Lord. Thank you, Lord God, over all rain and his family. Thank you, Father. Blessings, all rain. Would you lead us in worship? Amen. Amen. Let's worship together.
He is mighty to save forever. Oh, the old salvation. He rose and conquered the grave. Jesus conquered the grave. Come on, let's sing together. Savior, he can move the mountain. My God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save. Savior, he can move the mountain. My God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save. Forever, all the observation, he rose the gold of the grave, Jesus gold of the grave. Shine the light on, let the whole world see. We sing it, all the glory, all the raise Shine the light on, let the whole world see. We sing in all the glory, all the raise of Savior, he can move the mountain. My God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save. Forever, all the all salvation, he rose the conga the grave, Jesus conga the grave. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Love you, Jesus. We worship you, Lord. You are greater than that we think, Lord. You are greater than that we worship you, Lord. You are greater than that we imagination. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you, Lord. We worship you. Amen. Thank you, Orain. Thank you, Lord. We just agree with those words that you're shining your light in the darkness, Lord. And you're shining your light through your people in Myanmar, Lord God. Your precious ones who love and obey you, Lord. Those in your kingdom. Lord, we thank you for that light that's shining even brighter as this darkness is covering this nation. Father, your light is shining. And where your light shines, the darkness cannot continue. So we thank you for your light, Lord. Thank you for your light. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Just so aware that the um, that the whole of the the goal of the of the Burma army is to bring fear upon the people. Father, we're just coming to you. I just, we just keep praying into that for a few minutes, praying against that fear for that light to shine. Anyone who feels they want to speak out, pray that. There is a picture I'd like to share that um, Lady in Adelaide, Cherie Lind, shared with us the other day. She saw a vision um, of neon lights of the word fear. But then she saw another word that came down, also neon lights, and it covered the fear. And the second word was trust. So, Father, we just thank you for the trust, the hope that's rising in this nation that stamps out the fear, Lord God. Thank you, Lord. David, you've unmuted. Do you want to pray? 
Yeah, I just wanted to say, um, um, with this whole fear thing, I think that, uh, you know, in, in my heart, a long time ago, I made a, a declaration to say that as for me and my family, we will serve the Lord, you know. And I think that, I think that my prayer is, that it's on my heart, is that people will, will make a stand and, and hold on to Jesus and in holding on, in that trust of holding on to Jesus, the perfect love of Jesus casts out all fear. Yeah. And so, Lord, we just pray in Jesus' name that people, even people who don't know you, Father, through circumstances that are beyond their comprehension, that they would reach out to you. And, Father, they would, they would reach out and they would hold on to Jesus. They would say, as for me and my family, we will serve the Lord no matter what. And Father, as, as the trust grows in you, as they walk with you, we pray that the perfect love of Jesus being resident in them will cast out the fear and they will be able to hear your voice clearly and obey your word promptly in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. David, can you tell people what that picture is behind you? Behind me here, this is Malai yeah. Camp. Uh, it's it's the largest refugee camp in in uh, um, uh, Thailand. It's predominantly Karen refugees. There's about sixty thousand in there, uh, and it's been operational. It's just north of Masot, about fifty five kilometres north of Masot, and it's been operational since about uh, the early nineteen nineties, I think. Um, it was merged with several other camps at around 1994, 96, around there. And um, uh, it's been uh, a, a, a camp that has been um, uh, holding these refugees for a long time. When we first got involved with it, in my, my time was 1994 that we started, uh, Burmese army troops were incurring the border and coming into the camp and shooting the refugees. And, um, uh, you know, they, they would fire mortars at them and all kinds of things. And so uh, you have this community of people who've been there, their families have been there a long time, and most of them are stateless. Uh, and there's new, new, new people coming into the camp. Uh, it's now under Thai military control. And if you're not registered, and registrations are few and far between, then you don't get any uh, food or allowances like that. And you have to trust other people to give you something. Um, and the, what, what the military have done is they give them, I think it's about a hundred and about $8, about $8. And um, they have to buy from the military stores all the things that they need with that $8. And of course it's not enough and the stores keep on jacking up the prices. But anyway, that's Malai Camp, and um, uh, the huts are made out of bamboo, and the leaves are made, the roofs are made out of leaves that you can see there. And that's fairly typical of many of the villages inside, yeah. but as well, yeah. Quite an amazing place to visit. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Anybody else like to pray about fear? I would like to. I would like to. Um, I got Psalm 34, um, uh, verse 1 to 10. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Um, my soul shall make her boast in the, in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. I saw the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. They looked unto him and were lightened and their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. The angels of the Lord encamped round about them that fear him and delivers him. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. 
Blessed is the man that trusts in him. O oh, fear the Lord, you his saints, for there is no one to them that fear him. The young lions do lack and suffer hunger, but they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. Father, and I thank, thank you now for that you um, really reverse this, um, this fear of the people in Myanmar. Father, I, I, I ask you to help them to really trust in you, to rest their trust completely in you, to come under your wings and trust you uh, as their shepherd, as their keeper that knows everything and that you always will be faithful to keep them in any way and anyhow. Father, I thank you for that in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Judith. I had a prayer on my heart before, Ross, and I was about to pray it, and David said the very words that I had, which was perfect love casts out fear. And in Isaiah 41, it says, don't be afraid. I'm with you. Don't dis be discouraged. I'm your God. I will strengthen you and help you and withhold you with my victorious hand. I will hold you by your right hand. I say to you, don't be afraid. Lord, we lift up the people in Miramar. We lift up the Karen people in these refugee camps, especially those that know you, Lord, that they'll have a real <coughs> sense of your shalom presence. And no, perfect love casts out fear. You are perfect love, and it's your love that gives this strength, and we give you praise for that today. In Yeshua's name, amen. 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 Yeah, thank you, Margaret. I actually had that same scripture, so praise God. And I wanted to also pray that through these trials and through these dear ones clinging to Jesus, that they would come to the revelation that of the Father's love drawing them ever closer mm -hmm. to him and that they truly are sons and daughters of the Father. And I want to speak the spirit of adoption over them that they would no longer be slaves to fear, but have that peace and assurance deep in their hearts that they are beloved to their heavenly father. And also he is carrying them as in Isaiah 46, four to six, where you say you will carry us even from our mother's womb and carry us even into old age, where with gray hairs and deliver us. Father, we thank you for this sense for each one that is really challenged by these thoughts of fear that no doubt race through their heads. They would have that capacity to say, no, this is my father in whom I put my trust. I'm a son of the living God and I will not fear. I will look to him, I will exalt him, I will praise him, and I pray as they do praise you, Lord, they would see you and your angelic forces making ambushes and releasing them from these terrible situations that they face, and they would start to trust you deeper and deeper, you are the God of the breakthrough, you are the God that makes a way where there is no way, and we bless them in this journey deeper deeper into your heart in jesus name amen amen father amen. and i thank you in this trust lord you open you make a way where there seems to be no way and you open doors of provision you you shift um shift all the plans of the enemies you overthrow them and you, um, you, you change governments, Lord. You make a way for these people. You make a way for this nation of Myanmar. And you give them their ground back, stolen resources. You give them back, Father. Thank you that they start now to trust completely. Because you say, who stands, who puts its trust in you, Father. And you stand with, with these people then. And you shift everything. You shift these nations. And we, we declare it in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Tok, I'm wondering if you could just give us a little bit of an update. We know that at the moment there's an 
a lot of um, militant activity against the people, airstrikes, um, ground strikes, and um, it's it's pretty horrific. There are a lot of people running in fear. Tok, would you like to just share? Yeah, um, according to the the media called the print, uh, I want to share about the Chinese interest in what's happening in Burma. Despite the ongoing turmoil, foreign ministers from China and five Southeast Asian nations gathered in the Myanmar tourist destination of Bagan. This week, for the first time since the coup to discuss e economic cooperation, Wang Yi, the Chinese foreign minister, also met separately with his counterpart, Wana Maolin, who is a spokesperson of the uh, junta, and agreed to speak up work on China Myanmar Economic Corridor, an in infrastructure project linked to Beijing's Belt and Road Initiative. General Zomintuan, who is another spokesperson, said the meetings were a recognition of Myanmar's sovereignty and its government, but Human Rights Watch said China's action undermined efforts to hold the agenda to account through targeted sanctions. According to uh, Asia Director of uh, Human Rights Watch, it's not surprising, but it's still appalling to see the way the Chinese government is so willing to give cover to military junta uh, implicated in war crimes and crimes against humanity. So this is this, uh, one situation. Another one is uh, Russian involvement. According to the Irawadi uh, news, Myanmar regime takes delivery of two Su-30 fighter jets from Russia. Moscow sent several trainers and technicians to assist the Myanmar Air Force during the warranty period. According to former Myanmar Air Force officers who joined the anti-coup government last year. They said the Russian pilots and technicians will stay in Myanmar until the warranty period is over. One source said several of the Russians are staying in Nebidor, while some are based in Mandalay. He confirmed that the two new Su-30s are now in a hangar in Nebidor a strategic location in central Myanmar from where they will be able to cover the entire country from the far north to the south. So as a result of the fighting, nearly 50,000 civilians, especially in Karen area, fled their homes, especially Georgi uh, Township. I think that's where uh, uh, David was working. So over the weekend, due to the clashes between the regime forces and the Korean National Union. Another 15,000 are fleeing from, from the fighting in the south border area of, uh, of Miyawadi. It's, it's southern part of, uh, south, southward from um, Masot in that area, so, but um, yeah, I'd like to pray from um, Psalm 74. Remember your covenant promises, for the land is full of darkness and violence. Don't let the downtrodden be humiliated again. Instead, let the poor and needy praise your name. Arise, O God, and defend your cause. Remember how these fools insult you all day long. Don't overlook what your enemies have said or their growing uproar. Father, we pray that your, your continuation of your caring and loving and protection and saving work for the people of Myanmar. Father, please do not overlook anything that your enemy, the, the, the stronghold that your enemies is taking place in the heart of the 
evil people. So Father, please do something. As you want us to expect, as, as you want us to have strong faith in what you're gonna do, Father, we ask for the power to be released over your enemy who is doing nothing except distraction, lying and stealing. We pray all these things in the name of our Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Tok. We're going to go into breakout rooms for the next uh, 15 to 20 minutes. So I want you to just pray as the Lord leads you um, into, into any of this. You can keep praying about the fear, about peace, provision, protection, covering, and the, th and the, the things that Tok has just mentioned. But there are people currently running for their lives inside this nation. Um, so also raising hope in the nations. So if you'd just like to, to pray as the Lord leads in the breakout rooms. Bye. 
Yeah, thank you, Orain. He does a wonderful job. He's such a a minstrel in this nation, an apostle in this nation. Father, we just thank you for all rain. We lift him up to you afresh today, Lord God. Thank you for the cry in his heart and the cry on the heart of many in me, a man of God. Someone like to pray as you prayed in the room. We've only got a couple of minutes, so we won't have reports, but if there is a prayer that you want to to pray, please we do. We have the privilege of having Orain in our group and we pray blessing over you, Orain, and over his family, a 10-year-old and 8-year-old daughters and a son and, um, and just his wife and his father-in-law. Thank you for them, Lord. Bless them this day in Jesus' name. Amen. There are many... Many who lift their voices in worship in Myanmar. When we, when my husband Kim was working there and asking them how they manage in, with mental health issues, they sing, they worship. That is one of their refuges is to sing and to worship. And they are a nation who love to sing, who love to worship. Um, David would have met these young men in Mela Camp who um, have only been blinded, lost arms and legs because they've been dealing with um, landmines. And they're there in Mela Camp. Um, they look so absolutely miserable until they start to sing. And when they sing, their voice, their faces that are so disfigured, their faces begin to glow. And the sound as they sing together is, is heaven on earth. It is so powerful. Um, and that is the spirit of these people. They've been through civil war in the nation since 1948, basically, since the nation was formed. So this is not new for them, although this coup is now um, 18 months old. Or it's, um, it's not new to them. I'm sort of losing time or rain. David, is it two years now? It was February. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, since the first day of February 2021. Yeah. So yeah, it's about 20 months. 20, um, yeah, 20 months. Yeah. 20 months, yeah. Mm -hmm. So the protests continue, not quite like the ones that you saw in that picture in Yangon and Mandalay um, in the video, but there are still pro still people brave enough to protest. Thank you, Father. So Toke, I wonder, or David, or maybe both of you, would you like to pray to, to finish this time? Father, we thank you that our prayers are effective for the things that you wanted them to do. 
And Father, as we have prayed today, we ask, Lord, that you would take these humble prayers and, Lord, you would action them. Father, we, we, we express to you the deep love and concern we have for the people of Myanmar. And, Father, we have no one to turn to but you. But, Lord, we are, we are, we are joyous because we know that you love them more than we could ever. And Father, we ask you, Lord, to answer our prayers for this nation this day in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Yeah, go ahead, Tuck. Uh, Father, we thank you for your children who love you and who love your other children who are in need. Amen. We thank you especially for today, this time that we can spend together before the throne of your grace. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord shine his face upon you and give you a peace. And may the Lord lift up his countenance over you and give you a grace. Amen. 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 God bless you, my friend. Thank you. God bless you too. Oh, thank you, Alison. Actually, it just brings me to tears when I think of those amazing men who are so poor. They have nothing, not even their sight or the use of their hands, but, but they worship you, Lord God. Yeah, I know. It's just awesome. Thank you, Father. Mm -hmm. Rose, that was the sense we had as we were praying, for, uh, like David in Psalm 18. When all the enemies were after him, he praised the Lord. And we were praying that that would release an increase. Amen. Amen. Yeah, yeah that's okay. Yeah, I thought it's the same like we uh, want to do with Israel, to lift up these high praises. That we do it for Myanmar as well, the high prices, and God will fight for this nation. And He is already fighting. Yeah. I'm really, yeah. I think this morning something broke through. I really have this sense in my spirit that something is coming to fullness from all these prayers. And yeah, we can have really hope that God will come and mm -hmm. raise up His hand for Myanmar. Yeah. I had a yeah. similar thing. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Okay. I, I also really um we need your sound, Myanmar. Here we, we are, when we were uh, praying on the twelfth, really all nation coming together. And then as I was praying really for um for this living hope that's released from when we stand together. And I was really saying, okay, my, Myanmar on my shoulders, we are going there. But we need your we need what you have there. You know, every nation has something, and we have to come together in on the ground of Israel and put it together. And there comes a release into our nation's back. That's really the way. And you all will be. We are all then encouraged because we stand together. And when you are alone, you feel so so alone. But when you come together, there is this power coming together, and there is a power release. And in worshiping our God, because. He is the king of the nation. He's king in Israel. That's so, so deep, really, what's coming now. And cling yourself in and, and just be with us. And we just praise him. And God will move. That's for sure. He will move yeah. in our nation. He's faithful. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jitta. Yes. Uh, uh, about this son who uh, Ross shared, uh, I already delayed it uh, uh, two months, uh, two weeks ago, and as I posted one week ago because uh, in Myanmar, right, uh, uh, we cannot play this song because there was a video was like a Myanmar military. They 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 really cannot. Everyone cannot play this song, you know. So I share a lot to my friend in Myanmar. They said no, we cannot, we cannot, we cannot have your song. <laughs> they told me. <laughs> Well, it's been on the airwaves to tonight, all around the world, already. Thank you. Yeah. You'd be welcome to put it on the um, Barnabas 
for Burma's side if you want it to, uh, all right? Yeah, please, if, if you have any chance, you can, you can post everywhere. <laughs> you will send me a copy and I'll put it up. Okay. Okay, easy. Okay. Easy. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. That would be great. That is. Yeah. If you yeah, yeah. careful, <laughs> careful, yeah, I care. <laughs> because last that time I thought was border was... open. I thought last last week, right? But I think border were open, so that's why I delayed myself. <laughs> now it's no yeah, open, yeah. no. They they asked Myanmar, uh, Myanmar government military leader asked high government if they want to open border. They have to pay. One million baht, oh, one, 100 million baht, you know. <gasps> because Thai side, they start close, you know, in 2020. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well. So that's why I know now, if as long as military coup leading country, they never open, you know. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Over to you, Alison. Uh, mm -hmm. Bye. Yeah, thank you for your time. Say thank everyone. you to you and, and thank you to everyone. Um, yeah, it's such a, a journey, this, this nation, isn't it, that we're praying for. And um, yes, Lord, we just seal all these prayers with your blood this day in the name of Jesus. And we seal every mm. person and all Rain's family. Um, Lord, all those who are directly uh, in need of you right now in that nation, we seal them and cover them with the blood of Jesus. Amen. 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 We thank you, Father, for the power of your blood. Amen. 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 Thank you. God bless you, everyone. Thank bless you, guys. Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank yes, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Praying from Myanmar.